So, wait. Did I take that teleporter already? What now? I'm in the silk code. Did I? Uh, I guess not, because I haven't been here. Um... I'm doing the bane of my childhood. What's your bane of your childhood? The Sylph Corporation Tower with all the teleporting pads. Oh, that place. And the thing That's is, I know it's not even that complicated. I'm just being incredibly dumb. Derp. Bing derp. Bing derp. Wow, these people wonder if Sylph Co. is finished. They should see what it looks like in the future. Because it does still exist, right? I feel like it's in other regions. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah, your yeah. Skype picture's on the screen. My Skype picture's on the screen? Yeah, because the little Skype, as soon as you start the call thing, is over there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing we started recording. Yeah, we're like a minute and a half in. Makes sense. When do I ever tell you things? Never. That's why you're a horrible Robin. But I'm not. You are. If we were to compare things, it's like you're Superman and I'm Batman. We're on the same level, just we do different things. Superman! Fly yeah. around in underwear, Superman! You, do, you die a lot, but come back because of plot convenience. I have not been any more plot convenience than fucking Batman. Hey, that's just my utility belt. Motherfucker goes through space and time as a fucking bomb. Shh. At least I don't think I could turn back time by r running around the earth at the speed of a bullet. Nah, uh, you just survived being a fucking time bomb and nearly threatened to blow up the world because of fucking apocalypse. So? Nowadays, kryptonite is still your weakness, but then if you wear a suit of kryptonite, you get like double the strength. Motherfucker, yeah. Explain that to me. I what is that plot convenience right there? It's actually red and blue kryptonite. I just painted it green. <laughs> It'll make everyone go, the fuck? Is green kryptonite no longer effective? Does he now no longer have any weakness? No, because when it's still just separate from your suit, you still get weakened by it. Only your suit of armor is the thing that doesn't weaken you. Yep. Zelda Link, dressing in drag. We Zelda. all know Cheer Link is the best thing to ever grace the internet. <laughs> Cheer Link. Um, future me, put that in the video. Not that image. That's Fine, horrible. don't do that. Um, I got a reply from him. He just put like a text box in the top corner saying, not unless you want this being rated 18 plus. Eh, that's a horrible image. What? Horrible. Link is just embarrassed to be wearing it. What's so bad about it? Tell me what? what's so bad about it. Don't corrupt the kitties with the porn. But it's not. Um, it is not that in the slightest, though. It does not even show any nudity. Until later pics of it. I'm only showing the first variation, you scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fan art. Yeah. Um, I came from that way, right? Or did I teleport to that pad? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm not sure if I took the stairs or teleported to this floor. Amazing <laughs> <laughs> uh, trail, blah blah blah. Can I just have a golden piece of rope that trails behind me indefinitely, so I don't get lost? Blah 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 blah. Ooh, void volcano erupts. What about volcano erupting? Uh, sorry. I'm I'm looking in the book of the uh. Hyrule Triforce Heroes hard book cover. Ooh, oh, then. you should just use Hyrule Historia. I have that as well. So do I. 
But it has nothing on this game, so, well, it has nothing about the game in it. Yeah. Heck, it's not even in the timeline yet. Eh, true, very true. Sheesh, Nintendo released Hyrule Historia 2.0. Woo! Like, there have been, what, three Zelda games now? Hyrule Warrior, The Link Between Worlds, and Triforce Heroes? Yeah. I'm pretty sure all three of those are oh. on the Fallen Hero timeline. All I know is, apparently, uh, Triforce Heroes is after... Give me a second. My brain's not working. Because I know that A Link Between Worlds is at the beginning of... Well, not the beginning. One thing after the beginning of the Fallen Hero timeline. Because it still references back to the big war that happened. Which is what I'm guessing is the Hyrule Warrior story. Uh, Hyrule Warrior is not a part of anything. No, I'm making it canon for this, for this timeline. It's the big war that's referenced in, like, every Fallen Hero game. Everything has a freaking big war. Everything has a big war. I mean, there's, like, the Fallen Hero, that means Ganondorf has a war against the kingdom. Yeah. And in Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors, Ganondorf was separated into three freaking souls. Okay, then that's part of some other timeline. Hey. I told you. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I got a queen claw. It's fucking huge, and it looks pretty. By the way, can we ask the big question that I've been wondering forever? Why does Link never get to go Spider-Man on us ever again after Twilight Princess? Because they were like, Spider-Man! Too strong. Double claw shots too good. Pretty much. A actually, I think I know why. Maybe Pitt and Palantina's reveal trailer is canonically directly after Twilight Princess, and Pitt just destroyed it. Probably. All I know is I love this The Legend of Hi Zelda Triforce Heroes booklet. It's just so fucking pretty. A lot of things are pretty. I know, but it has it has shiny gold trimmings. Okay, and, that's the best uh, thing ever now. <laughs> and it has a picture of a blue link holding an arrow with a red link freaking turning the arrow on fire. That explains why fire arrows exist finally. Fucking fire! And it fucking on the back of it, it has the golden triforce and a shiny. Oh, I have a question. It. How do fire arrows work in every other game? Like, you just happen to go to a chest and just pick them up, and you can magically now set arrows on fire. Obviously, you find a scroll that teaches you how to do fire on arrows. But it just shows up as an arrow on fire. But it's not even an arrow on fire or froze or having like freeze radiation. It's literally just in a block of red. It was horrible programming back to then. It's still just a block of red whenever you pick it up in newer games. They're horrible at programming fire on arrows. Magic, don't question it. Like, I think the only game it's explained in is in Wind Waker, where one of the great fairies give you the arrows. Well, to be fair, it does make sense in Ocarina of Time. Since you shoot your arrow into the sun and it falls back to you as fire. Yeah, but then ice arrows are a thing, aren't they? You only get ice arrows if you go to a dungeon. Where it's completely ice based with physics galore. Nope. You go through the Gerudo's dungeon. Oh, right. Or you could just do the incredible thing of. Aim hook shot at a certain panel and you fall right through the wall. <laughs> I did that like after I learned that that's a thing by doing it on accident. I was like, oh, I'm gonna forever do this, and I've never go. gone through the dungeon again. You gotta love those glitches you find. 
And the thing is, that's still a thing in the 3DS version. Really? Yes, because that's what I found it out in. I don't think you can actually do it in the 64 GameCube version. That's hilarious. Also, bad news, they took out the infinite gold Goltia tokens, but in replace of it, there's now an unlimited heart piece glitch. So if you want, you can have 28 hearts. <laughs> I literally... And note, I say 28, because once you get 29, whenever you go into the Ganondorf fight, it glitches out and the game crashes. So basically, by the end of the game, you get 28 hearts, but make sure you don't get 29. Yeah. So no, make sure you don't go 28 hearts before you beat a boss. And you want to say how you do it? Ow. You just go talk to Dompe. Literally, the thing is, so Dompe never runs out of heart pieces. You just have to be lucky. Sooner or later, he'll keep pulling out the heart pieces. Huh. Huh. So grind for money by... It's like, oh, I'm out of money? Go to the chains outside of Hyrule Castle. Walk up to the top. Side jump off so you glitch the other one into your inventory without having to climb up that chain. Go back to Dompe. That's hilarious. It's hilarious because you can have 20 hearts... Before you even go into the Goron Mines. Yep. Did I just say Goron Mines? Yeah, you're thinking of the wrong thing. Twilight Princess. You love that Twilight Princess. Of course, they gave you the best type of arrows. Bomb arrows! So I'm guessing you're going to be hyped about the rumors of Twilight Princess HD? I never even heard that. You're just hearing that. Oh my gosh. I even sent you to a Zelda forum. Do you think I actually looked at it? I just went there. Literally, everything I said to you was all I read. You're pitiful. I know. Well. And by the way, people, that's Zelda Dungeon. I repeat, the Zelda Dungeon forum. It's a fantastic place. Stop Shameless publicizing plugin. it. Shameless plugin. Shameless plugin. That's not a shameless plugin. This is. Go watch Tales, Go watch my Tales of the Stereo Let's Play along with Psychonauts. That's a shameless plug-in. Watch that. Mario RPG. Oh, no. Don't bring that up ever. <laughs> Super Mario RPG. It is the only game for me. When I get to play with the game, I get lost in a phase. I hope sing horribly because I am so lame. <laughs> Were you referencing one of the Brental Floss songs? I will smack you for that! That was not Brental Floss! No, because you were singing it to the tune of his Tetris song, which he does. That, no, that is Geno's Forest! That is my Christopher... Uh, Kerberfer! Kerberfer! I'm upset. My level 40 Dragonair just got killed by a level 28 Golbat. Yay! I got hit in confusion every single turn. Because you know my luck in Pokemon. Yeah, all that hacks. It's like, oh, he's paralyzed? I have 12 turns to set up. I would just be happy they don't have a dark ride where you'd be infinitely sleeping. True. Every time I get to put to sleep, I stay asleep all five turns. With the dark ride out, you'd be dead. Yep. Hey, you It's like, dark ride, he's a horrible Pokemon for competition, but that's only because... You have that sleep nuzlock, sleep lock. Most people like that. Like so, it's like no, nope, you can't go. To, it's the only part one of my Pokemon is sleep. So um, it's like. Do you forget that U that he's in Ubers for a reason? In Ubers, that's a thing. Well, that's not a thing. Not really. You can put every single Pokemon to sleep. Yeah, it's also a thing in VGC. Eh, but I played a lot of that Pokemon battle thing. Uh, what's it called? You know, that's where Showdown. Showdown, that's that's it. I knew what we you were talking about. Showdown. That was a long time ago. And we met not even talking about Pokemon, but Smash. I yeah. <laughs> went to the Smash things thing and you're just impressed by my Toon Link. More like I just got annoyed by it because back then I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't even use ranged projectiles. Oh, right, because you were one of those like two Toon Links I found on there that I was like, wait. There's not a million and twelve bombs. He's actually using his sword as a swordsman. I'm a swordsman, baby. 
Just yep. a highly annoying one. I am. That was also before I started maining Peach. Peach is annoying, but I also started maining Wario, and I had fun with that bike. And before you got Wizard Punch off of it, because you kept attacking me with the bike. Bloody Wizard Punch. Not only that, the tip of the Wizard Blade Punch. That hurt. <laughs> like, you were at, what, 12? Yes. I kept trying. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try like 12 times. <laughs> but no more than 12. Because once you get to 13, that's my lucky number. Uh, I was born on a Friday the 13th. That is not a lie, I was. Oh. Well, which month's Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th occurs in more than one month. I know. But if I tell you, then you know my birth date. Eh. It's and me. the whole world will know my birthday. And I will be showered in presents and amazingness. And that's bad, why? Because I cannot handle such fame and amazingness. But you'll I get to replace your potato. But I like my potato. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not a potato. It can't even handle GLaDOS, so... Yeah, GLaDOS is too strong. What about your rock? <laughs> your rock with the monitor. It is my pet rock. Don't make fun of Rocky. I like Rocky. Is it going to win the big snail race? <laughs> Oh, it's actually one of the few Spongebob episodes I like. Uh, we all remember Patrick's pet rock, Rocky. Yep. Is this the teleporter? No, the teleporter's in Splatoon. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, you're completely lost. That's and cool. I just literally let this episode go over by like three minutes. <laughs> uh, Alright, which floor are you on? I'm on... I don't know. Go to the stairs. I will, after I get out this battle. Fair enough. By the way, I missed a 95% accurate move. Wow, your luck sucks. Hey. Remember that one time I literally missed two high jump kicks in a row on you? Yeah, that was amazing. No, it wasn't. It was horrid. Hey, it was amazing for me. I lived, and you died. Life is good. And that's why I never used high jump kick again. Woo, I got some purple gems out of a bush. Purple yep. rupees, purple rupees, I like purple rupees. Stop wearing that outfit. But it makes me rich. I can cut one piece of grass, and boom, two purple rupees. Get a real okay. job. I am. I'm <gasps> cutting grass. Golbet's evolving. It's probably going to give me a question mark. <laughs> it became curse type. It became the dot 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 question mark type. It became fairy type? Yes. By the way, yeah. any less words for people? Uh, Triforce Heroes rule! Woo! Lies! 